Hello brother trucker, Brad here, Aussie, Trucky on Highway 31, coming to you live, live, recording live, on uh, Highway 31. If you haven't checked out the channel before, thanks for watching. Uh, this morning we've just got a quick little pickup uh, here in Gundagai from one of the uh, galvanising um, manufacturers here. So I'm going to pull off the freeway here in a minute and uh, go in into the back back blocks of Gundagai to pick up a pallet and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We're going to briefly join the old highway here as part of the uh, the Northern Interchange. Might notice the uh, the broad brim hat's gone. Summer's officially over, so the cap's back. school zone so I better do 40 here. What time is it? 9.30 so it's about to end anyway. But that's basically it for the old highway. <laughs> it keeps going up over the hill. We might go out that way just so we don't have to worry about coming out on the uh, on the hairpin at the northern interchange. But Basically up this side of Gundagai, we've got the, the school here, got the cemetery up here on the right and then uh, and left, and then we got the Gundagai sale yards. So nice, easy, B double, B double route coming in and out. So we've no no issues with space whatsoever coming in here, which is always good. Council Works Depot here as well. Funny with the abattoir, oh, with the uh, cemetery, cemetery abattoirs. Um, it's not the uh, not the dead centre of town like the joke normally suggests. There's no other trucks in there, so as long as they've finished smoke, oh, we shouldn't be too long here. Normally, once a month, we've got to come in here, either pick up something or normally drop something off, and we're back the week later to pick it up. But been a couple of weeks since I need to come in here. Unfortunately just got in here as I was starting Smoko last time and no one wanted to do anything so I've got a 20 minute wait to put it in the logbook. Paperwork says there's a pallet. That's until I actually see what it is. There's no idea. Pulling in to get a pallet before and had a two meter length of uh, I've been one that's been galvanised. So unfortunately, with the uh, with the shipping, the con notes and that, it doesn't really describe what the load actually is. Lisa Fork is here waiting. We'll get out and um, see what he has to say.
Was, uh, fairly straightforward, which is good. Nice, quick, in and out. Makes for a uh, makes for a good day. Button stuck in. So yeah, some galvanised, um, look like bottoms of decking or something, steel legs, steel legs for a deck, it's um, it's going back over the mid coast, back over Bega somewhere, so it'll, um, it'll come back to the depot I've made today, and then no doubt tomorrow it'll be put back on the trailer to go to Canberra. And then there's a uh, freight folder just down the road from where I did the first drop in Hume that uh, takes takes oh, takes stuff over the mountain from Canberra to the coast. Coming in, we'll, uh, we're going to come in a little bit of the old Highway 31. We'll go up over the hill and drop down into Gundagai on the old route. Those that um, haven't been through town since the uh, since it was bypassed for back in the 70s, late 70s, I think, that went in when they built the uh, the second crossing over the Murrumbidgee. Even though this isn't much of a steep pull, it's a fairly long one, so this would have been very, uh, very noisy back in the day. Trucks coming up here, <laughs> going flat out. Although a lot of the houses along here don't look like they're 30 years old. A couple of here do. I suppose why would you buy a block of land and build right next to the highway when all the trucks are coming through town? As soon as it was bypassed, land probably sold like hotcakes but again signs of it being the highway hotel there that seems to be still in operation old auto cabin there not so much probably uh, permanent residence now for different people but this would have been a good one too back in the day just trucks coming down here on the jakes the old Detroit's and that and the cats it's got that whole vastness and valley out there for the noise to echo. Now there are a lot older houses here, so a lot of these people would have, um, please stay, 
would have been back in the day here in the old bangers oh, all the way down the hill. <laughs> Unlike now, the graceful sound of a Volvo farting. The truck museum down there too, a couple of times have come through and hasn't been open. After um, doing Kybram last month, I'd love to be able to pull in there and have a look and see what old trucks they got in. So we don't have too many museums like that down south. I imagine this would have been much like Rollover Corner in Aubrey because the whole old highway goes that way then to the um, top of the old bridge. So this intersection would have been through traffic to the left and right, just like Rollover Corner in Aubrey. And I'm sure a few laid them over on their sides here as well. If you do remember, we'll have stories of. Uh, that corner, if it was as notorious as Rollover Corner in Aubrey, let me know in the comments. But that's it for Gunda Guy. We just got to go up here and merge with this uh, single lane closure on the new bridge. <laughs> I say new bridge. Southbound side's newer. The uh, northbound lane. Apparently, that bridge is in a lot of problems. They've had works done to it. It's, uh, it's the first one that they built when they done the bypass and um, there's stories there now where you go over a truck and they reckon if you're working on it you can feel it, feel the bridge moving. But we're going to send it. So thanks for watching guys, I've been Brad and uh, I'll see you in the next drop fit. <laughs>